Ten seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Let's get straight into the next fight of the evening. Cool to find out to Ben Cool. He just talked about Thai Gatiga and Muay Thai. Sam Yuk Yuk was on Nati. The next fight is a Muay Thai bout. Three two minute rounds. Let's bring out the fighter in the red corner. Cool. And his opponent in the blue corner, Nathan. แทนผู้ชมครับคู่นี้จะชกกันภายใต้กติกามวยไทยสามยกยกและสองนาที Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Muay Thai bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds. น้ำมวยในมุมแดง fighting in the red corner. น้ำหนัก 73.9 กิโล weighing in at 73.9 kilograms. สูง178 standing at 178 centimeters tall. Book T Venom Training Camp. มาจากสหรัฐอเมริกา from America ladies and gentlemen Cole Davis แล้วคู่ต่อสู้ของเขาในมุมน้ำเงินน้ำหนัก 74.9 กิโล weighing in at 74.9 kilos สูง193 standing at 193 centimeters ฝึกซ้อมที่ Tayo Elite Combat มาจาก Hungary from Hungary ladies and gentlemen Nathan d e l a b o y and your referee okay here we go fight number five kick it off this is the biggest matchup we've had so far in the 75 kilogram division And again, we've got another clash of stances. Yeah, we're wasting no time to get things started here. Both fighters not wasting any time at all. Big right body kicks coming in from Nathan in the blue corner. Counter kicks coming in. Beforehand, on one of the exchanges, Nathan landed three body kicks in a row. As if he was kicking the pads of the bag. Good right team there from Nathan. Followed on by a body kick. Cole coming back with his own body kick. Oh. Yeah, mixing up the combinations very well here. Which is the low kick. Body kick as well. Good all around skill set. Like you, like you said before, you don't want either of these two to blow themselves, like to get themselves too tired too quickly in this first round. Big knees coming in from Nathan. Good control on the clinch from in there. Colt struggling to get his hands around Nathan. And Nathan just slamming in these body kicks left yeah. and right. Tripling up on that kick. And again, can Nathan keep this pace? Yeah, this is a ferocious pace right now. I mean, 
Coming for the opening bell, he hasn't stopped. Attacking. A lot of these shots are accurate. They're not very hard. Good sweep there from Cole. They're not very hard, but they're, but they're accurate and they're scoring well. Yeah, and that's what counts on the scorecards. And again, it's just going to be coming down to, uh, to Cole trying to find his rhythm here. Get past that long reach of Nathan. You see All good here from Cole getting the back of Nathan. So coming down to our final seconds of our Start. These two men in the round number one. Morning. He's the handsomest man in New Jersey. Okay, here, here we go. Wow, what a round! What, what a first round from these two. Nathan just came out like a man possessed. Yeah. Just threw everything but the kitchen sink at, at, at Cole in the red corner, and Cole felt pretty overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah, and then not only that, but Nathan able to keep that pace throughout the entire round. Like you said before, scoring accurately. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can keep that up in the second round, and how, on the other hand, uh, Cole adjusted his style. How is he going to respond to it? Well, we have two more rounds to go. Let's see. Yeah. Nathan with an extremely big height advantage here. He is 15 centimeters taller than Cole. And using it well. When he was able to get those kicks off the outside, uh, the push kick. Yeah, the right push kick he did through quite a lot yeah. in that first round and had success. And also the left and right body kicks. Let's see if. Venom, the Venom Jim in the red corner fired up Cole. Here we go, round number two. So now, opposite Cole. Oh, big body kick from him. Nathan took it well, though. He's fired up, coming back. Swing and a miss from Cole. Left body kick from Nathan. Right body kick from Nathan. Left body kick coming back from Cole. And you gotta appreciate that this is both of these fighters' first times fighting. And you, you know, you see the skill level that they're at. Very exceptional for, for this level. Yeah. Able to stay composed, able to score you know, a variety of techniques here. Yeah, I have to agree. Double body kicks from Nathan again. Cole going off that back leg of Nathan. I mean, Nathan is a man possessed right now. He's just been a machine for, since the first round. I mean, he's just doing this for fun, really, isn't he? <laughs> oh, flipping right, not like a right hook from Cole. I don't think he realized that he got Nathan right there. We need to see more of that. Just about a minute left here in our second round. Very entertaining fight so far. Good left hands now coming in from Cole. Nathan trying to find that teeth again, but just. Missing out. Oh! Big punches here from Cole, throwing over the big strong body kick. Yeah, that was a beautiful combination. That got the attention of Nathan. You can see a grimace on his face when that body kick landed. But again, he's not out of the fight. I mean, he's he's biting down on his mouthpiece and he's going right back into the fray. It's firing him up here. He's getting angry. And all that back connects for Cole. And a sweep, sweep there from Cole. Nathan getting up very slowly. Some blood trickling down from the nose there of Nathan now. What a round this has turned out to be. Into the second round.
Okay, so what a round two we had right there. So we've got Nathan Delanoy in the blue corner and Cole William Davis in the red corner. Cole came out a lot more fired up in the second round and was able to get the better of Nathan and sort of injured his nose a little bit, made his nose bleed. But Nathan still controlled the, kept the pace going very high tempo. Yeah, he's got a, a hell of a gas tank, Nathan, because hasn't slowed down despite taking those punches and big, big shots from Cole. But the, the, the defining moment for me in that second round was that kick from Cole. I mean, grimacing body kick. He almost able to fold over Nathan. I'd like to see more of those in his third round. Well, all to play for here. We're going into the third and final round of our fifth fight tonight. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because we're just halfway here and we've got five scintillating matchups coming up straight after this fight. Okay, off we go. Round number three underway. Show of respect from both fighters. Touch of gloves. And off we go. Swing and a miss from Cole. Both boxers exchanging really good body kicks. I have to say, you said this earlier, the technique from these two is pretty good for their first fight. Yeah. A lot of times you see uh, amateurs, they go into the ring with no fights and they freeze up. And they don't know what to do. You know, their head is not clear, they don't have that experience, but they're, they're showing it well here. Oh, big sharp left hand there from Nathan. Moments ago, uh, Cole with that vicious combination again. Cole His hands are dangerous when he lands. Cole going to the body. Good off balancing sweep there from Cole. Definitely a better round for him. Much better round shirt. You can see the frustration on Nathan's face as he charges forward. Good left body kick. Cole with a big overhand left. Swinging here, Cole. Pushing Nathan back onto the ropes with a barrage of punches. So just about 45 seconds to go here in our third and final round. Who's it going to? Is it going to Cole in the red corner? Or is it going to Nathan in the blue corner? Clint shot from these two, but nothing much happening. The referee's breaking it up. The refs, they will let the fighters continue in a clinch as long as they're throwing the knees and improving their position. But once it slows down, the, the refs will separate the fighters. An accurate left hand smeared blood straight across the face of Nathan right there. And I think for both of these two, they're better off on the outside. The clinch isn't really their forte right now. Swing and a miss from Nathan with the right team. Cole catching the kick very well. I'm trying to swing. Big clubbing right oh. from Cole. And Nathan's on the ropes here. Solid finish. Doing the chicken dance right here, Nathan. Oh, oh down the bell. Out there and what a way to finish the fight. Nathan saved by the bell right here. End of the third and final round. What a fight. I mean, if they don't steal fight of the night, I don't know what is. That was very entertaining. We'll go to the, again, we'll go to the judges' scorecards in, in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll find out who really won that fight. Yeah, this one's going to be very, very close. Still got the old uh, chicken walk going on there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the judges' scorecards. 30-27, 30-27, 30-27. For your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Cole Davis. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back in about 10 minutes. And we will be back in about 10 minutes. 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 And come back with a female boxing fight. Don't miss it. See you soon. Okay, so wow, what a what a first half of the way to open the show. We had yeah. a mixture of everything. We had Muay Thai, we had boxing, and we finished up with some really good Muay Thai as well. They've been very back and forth. The, yeah, the very entertaining, very entertaining. Especially the first fight. I mean, we had Tirawat in the blue corner against Tanawat in the red, and it was a very tightly contested battle of styles in that first round or first bout, I should say. But those kicks coming in from Tiruat really defined that fight and uh, made it what it was. It all came down to timing and Tiruat definitely have it. Moving on to the second fight of the night, it was they're both last minute replacements because 
and both of the both of the previous opponents had co like unfortunately got COVID, and they did did pretty well. Like we had Vincent coming in with clubbing right hands, pushing Shin Shinsuke back, and Shinsuke used his timing quite well, but just didn't have enough in the in the tank. Like took this fight on a last minute notice, but did pretty well. Moving on to fight number three, though, that yeah. was a very good hotly contested boxing very, fight. Very very great it? boxing fight, uh, especially for these two young gentlemen just starting off and. Uh, Giuliano, though, his footwork, his combinations really stole that fight. Uh, Neil, a little bit more flat-footed, but he did have that power in the right hand. Just not enough to win the, uh, the points. on. The it was part. just too much clinch, and Giuliano was able to maneuver um, Neil around the ring very well and pick his moments to come in and come out and score really good points in the eyes of the judges. Yeah. Moving on to the fourth fight of the evening, Lucas from Luc Yamo from France was able to get redemption here, having lost his last fight on, um, on, the, on Ultra Instinct uh, Fight 3. He was able to get a pick up a win here. How did he do that? Yeah, I mean, the first round, he struggled a little bit with the range because Tommy, obviously the taller fighter. But second round, third round, he stole the fight. He had the strong punches, the low kicks. In the end, that got him the points. Yeah, and very good show of heart from Tommy as well. Moving on to the last fight that we just had. Wow, and you said it was fight of the night for you. Why is that? I mean, why not? <laughs> why wasn't it fight of the night? I mean, the way they both came out and, and from the opening bell to the closing bell never stopped. Uh, non-stop action, got to tip my hat to both guys. I mean, Nathan and Cole showed a lot of heart, and not only that, but it's their first fight, first amateur fight, and I'm sure their careers are, you know, they're, they're going to grow uh, to great places from here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, really entertaining fight so far, ladies and gentlemen. We've got five more fights coming up, a mixture of Muay Thai and boxing, and don't forget our co-main event is boxing with MMA gloves. We'll see you back at the action.